Capricorn, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of April 5th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, don't forget, if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. Now, there will not be an extended reading to today's reading, but in turn, your love reading for the entire month of April will be up on Vimeo, and you will find links to all of this in the description box below this video. All right, Capricorn. Wow, you guys need to get ready for one. Um, a very fast-paced moving week. I think your entire month of April is going to look like that, to be honest with you. Uh, but be ready for sudden changes. And fear and worries are a thing of the past because you are taking back your power. You are taking control. You are taking the reins. You're getting what you want. And you're bringing in new opportunities while you're doing it. So it looks like you've got a pretty strong week ahead. So let's take a look. We're looking at Capricorn. This is your week of April 5th, 2021. All right, Capricorn, starting with the Two of Cups. This is a union. Uh, this is a get-together. Now, if I've got y'all uh, Capricorns that are in a relationship, this is really good communication. But for my Capricorns that are single or have nothing going on, this is the start of something new. And it starts with communication. With that, I have the Four of Cups, unexpected offer of assistance or the unexpected offer of love coming into play. And we have the Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is movement and change on the home front. Someone moving in the home, someone moving out the home. Could be um, heavy renovations, something like that. But I'm seeing movement and change on the home front, but it's also very, very positive. Moving forward. Okay, did I mention it's going to be a quick moving week? Knight of Swords. Something is about to come rushing in. And yes, that also does indicate a quick moving week. And in the center, we have Temperance. And I love this because your center card reading radiates throughout your reading. Okay? Temperance could also resonate uh, with a Sagittarius. But this is the transfer of energy. This is Capricorn finally realizing that when you do the same thing, you get the same result. So you're changing things up and you're doing things differently and you're getting a positive result. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a week about new opportunities and taking your power back. Okay. Two of Swords shows that you guys are going to make decisions. And these decisions are ones you've been putting off for too long. We have the Fool and love, love, love the energy of the Fool. This says you're happy, go lucky, carefree, things are going your way. But it's also reminding of don't get so caught up in that happiness that you're making foolish decisions. Okay. And with that, we have the Three of Pentacles. There is some kind of financial blessing coming into you guys. And for whatever reason, I think it's a spiritual blessing as well. So, definitely uh, the time frame of counting your blessings. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. New money. Okay. This is the highest financial card in the deck. Financial stability. This is something new coming into play. Bonus card. Ooh, a tower moment. Okay. With that temperance of doing things differently, do not fear the tower. Okay. I don't think, since we're looking at temperance and the power together, this is not so much of your temper. This is you have pissed somebody else off. Just so you know. Okay. Will lead to sudden change. Will lead to something brief and passing. But you have rocked the boat with someone else. So, with that said, let's clarify. Let's continue to roll with this. Starting up there with the Two of Cups of the Happy Union. The communication, the get-together. Let's see what we have going on here. Capricorn, with that Two of Cups, I have the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands tells me you're taking authority. You're putting your foot down. Remember, like I said, this is a week of taking your power back. This is you saying, you know, I've done A, B, and C, and now we're going to do X, Y, and Z, and it's going to be successful. On top of the Four of Cups, we have uh, the Hangman Energy, okay? You may be feeling a little stuck that there's no movement around you, but honestly, this is when your best ideas come to you. 
okay it's being still and being quiet and just listen and clarity comes to you when that happens the knight of wands comes with the four of wands okay and i always say we're working for the four of wands as a ten of cups you have it here the four of wands that comes with the movement on the home front this is positive changes on the home front this is a happily ever after it is within your reach and what's rushing in with the knight of swords is the queen of swords okay someone new Someone coming in to offer assistance. Um, this could also be someone with a sharp tongue, so be warned of that. Uh, could also resonate with a Virgo energy. Now, with this change and the tower and who you're going to make mad, like I said, is brief and passing because there's the Nine of Cups. And this is what I call that fat happy cat. This is uh, total happiness, total contentment, and wish fulfillment. So, yeah, you made somebody mad, life goes on. Two of Swords comes with the Page of Swords. Happy, carefree, aloof, uh, doing you. You know, like I said, it just everything going well. Almost like that full card energy might resonate with a Taurus. And we have that full card energy coming in again. You've got the Three of Pentacles side by side. The time to count your blessings. Spiritual, financial, all of it. Sometimes we just got to slow down and do that. With that, there is a Seven of Swords, okay? Now, Seven of Swords, I don't see the energy of someone lying to you. I see more or less energy of someone is not telling you everything, okay? So be warned of that. Be very open-minded, but be warned of that. Ten of Pentacles comes with the Two of Wands. Two of Wands, travel plans. This is uh, by water. Now, not like a cruise or by boat. I mean a visit to water, like lake, river, ocean, something like that. Future travel plans coming into play. And the center, there it is. Bonus card, the lovers. Are you going to piss off someone from the past in a love life? Could very well be. Because you're doing things differently. It's wish fulfillment, and you have the lovers card. But bottom line is... You've got a great week ahead. Everything looking positive. Everything going your way. Definitely a week of sudden changes and taking your power back. Okay, Capricorn. Don't forget to join me for your full love reading for the month of April. Link below in the description box. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.